go to that straight to that Mao story and the government is tonight considering at least three options to resolve the endless Mao forest conservation question details seen by citizen television show a possibility of the total eviction of forest dwellers who will be required to make their own arrangements of resettlement a report prepared by the Kenya Water Towers Agency also proposes compensation of the forest encroaches that would cost the government at least 5.3 billion shillings. As we broadcast with our very own Sam Gituku. In a report detailing the resolutions of the Kenya Water Towers Agency Board at the end of last month, three key recommendations are made to resolve the Mao question affecting the Maasai Mao forest that covers over 114,000 acres of land. 42,000 acres of forest land are currently under illegal occupancy and the board now proposes that first the government should consider compensating the forest dwellers. This to mean that the government would pay the encroachers a predetermined amount for them to go purchase alternative land and resettle. The second option recommended by the board would see the government acquiring alternative land outside the Mao. For families that occupy 42,000 acres, the task of finding the land would fall on the government. The third option which the board however advises against is doing nothing and maintaining the status quo. This would mean that ongoing eviction stop, no one leaves the Mao and all the benefits of a restored forest be gone with the wind. Despite the board earlier proposing the first option of compensating all encroachers financially, another final meeting held today by all stakeholders including the government preferred the evictions in a humane way route. This based on the legal and financial cost of doing so. Legally, the subdivision of the Mao and the resultant title deeds were against the law. Financially, it would be at least 5.3 billion shillings. This is based on calculations of the Kenya Water Towers Agency that proposed 200,000 shillings compensation for every acre owned by 461 persons who hold title deeds within Maasai Mao. All other illegal settlers who have no title deeds had been proposed to be given 600,000 shillings per person, totaling to 4.5 billion shillings. The government keen on restoring the Mao forest is said to be keen on the evictions that will be done in a humane manner. The evictees are likely to be encouraged to secure their compensation from some 1,029 persons that are said to have sold the illegal land to them. That the government will strive to pursue the illegal land sellers and hold them criminally liable for the forest destruction so far endured, while all the 461 title deeds will be revoked. The decision on which way Mao is expected later this week. Sam Gitukusri TV. Nairobi.